Hello everyone, this episode of Stories with Jishan is brought to you by Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways is taking you closer to your loved ones in India and Pakistan. Fly to your loved ones with special offers using the promo code FLYHOME. Moreover, you can take the advantage of 40kg baggage allowance and bring something special to your loved ones to celebrate your reunion. If your plan changes, you can still cancel your ticket with granted flexibility. The promo code is valid for booking until 31st of May 2021 and for travel until 30th of September 2021. Terms and conditions apply. I personally have traveled with Qatar Airways in the past and the experience has been incredible. So what are you guys waiting for? Do fly with Qatar Airways. So today we have got Srijan on our channel and he has got really interesting experiences and that's what I'm going to explore in this video. So I'll directly put Srijan on spotlight and ask him to introduce himself. Please Srijan. Hey everyone. Hi, my name is Srijan. Um, and I'm currently an international student um, studying at, well not really, I'm, I'm an international student, I'm currently studying um, at Oxford Brooks University and I'm a third year. Um, I'm currently on placement and yep, yeah, um, also I'm doing business and marketing management as well. So as far as the North region, so I've already talked with him, so he's basically from India and could you let the audience know that uh, what kind of subjects did you had in your high school and why did you take that decision to come to UK like why didn't you study continue to study in India itself I'm t okay so uh, regarding my high school I studied um, PCM course this physics chemistry maths so I didn't study anything related to business um, controversially like I'm studying well no, yeah I'm studying business now because I've always been passionate about business uh, it's just that I didn't like feel like studying it back um, at high school so now I'm mm -hmm. doing that and um, about UK in general like um, I didn't think much well I didn't have much in my mind when I chose UK to begin with but now if for, for students who are thinking of coming to the UK now they have really good job opportunities afterwards because um, you know the Brexit's happened so um, but uh, we don't know what's going to happen after afterwards, but we can predict that it's going to have good effect on the job opportunities. And we've got, uh, you know, post-study work visa approved now, so which is a really good thing as well. And so I think if a person or a student thinking about studying in the UK now, it would be a very good opportunity and would be a better choice than it was probably like two years ago when I did it. Yeah, exactly. When I think the same that the uh, students who are coming in the upcoming intakes, basically, I think they've got really good chances to get a job because they've got post-study work visa, which is coming into place and this Brexit happening. So for sure, I think for the upcoming students, it's really a positive signal out there. So let us try to explore a bit about your course, which you're pursuing. So first of all, I know like you're pursuing business marketing. So please could you let us know that first of all, what is the fees and how, what is the degree duration? Then thirdly, I know that you were exchange student who went to US and please let uh, kind of highlight that thing that uh, how was the application procedure to basically go from studying in UK university then to US as well. Yeah, 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 um, definitely. Um, okay, so um, I'm, uh, as I said before, business and marketing management related to my course. It's a lot of coursework rather than being a lot of exams. It's a lot of essays, um, a lot of projects, a lot of, um, you know, posters and stuff which is typical business and marketing related stuff. And then you've got a bit of maths there as well. Um, you know, just again, typical business and marketing stuff. And then um, fees related, it's a normal international student fees, which is around, um, you know, international for an international student, the fees are always higher. So it's around, um, I think it's 14 grand a year. And it can, oh, yeah. yeah, it increases like a bit every year as, like it's the same with every university so um it's it's around that every year and then yeah that that's it for my course now related to my um exchange program i actually have made a video in my channel about that as well oh okay yeah just okay. like explaining how a person how a student can do in um exchange just to brief you guys um it's basically um exchange program is that a student can go abroad in the second year so i went abroad to florida in my last year 
currently I'm in my third year, so I went in last year. And um, so the eligibility criteria for that is um, you have to get more than 55% uh, or 2.5 GPA in your first year. And I think that that's the only eligibility criteria. And the other thing is also the course. Depending upon your course, um, your university will allow, um, will see how much, how long can you take the exchange for. So for my course, I, I could only do it for a semester. Uh, I wanted to do it for a year, but I couldn't. So depending upon your course and your university, which university they're partnered with abroad, you can do like exchange, not only in America, you can do it like everywhere in the world. So um, I, I'd say, do, do it, go for it. It was the best time I've ever had. I think it is quite interesting that you've got experience of UK education and then you have also got the education experience for US. So let us try to compare this and according to you, where did you find that uh, like was the US education better or was it like better, uh, like, you know, relatively down as compared to UK? So could you explore that better? Well? So if I have to talk about just education, the academic side, um, yeah. yeah. I would say, I would say it's kind of, they, they're very competitive, but I'd say the states win. Um, their their acad academic system is very well written. I'm not, I'm not saying that the UK, um, well, you know, what do you say? Um, education system is not, it's bad or anything. I'm just saying the way, f how it worked for me was better in states than being. Oh, okay. But a good different, you know, every person has different ways of studying. But for me, the states work much more. And I got very, very good marks, even though I didn't try to study because, you know, I was there for traveling and stuff. But I learned so much. So I, and also, um, the main reason is why people cho choose UK over states. Um, if you just don't include the academic side, the price. Like if you think about the price, the tuition fee for states, the you know, American university is just overwhelming. It's too much. It's like double the amount you pay here for, pay here in the UK for a year. So because of that, like you know, what price you're paying over there is worth it, and what price you're paying here is totally worth it as well. Because you know, then again, it all everything comes down to price great 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 thanks for sharing that experience as well with the audience and also i know that uh, you're right now in the placement i think you also mentioned in your introduction too so i think you know better a bit about that uh, like i think you have now got a perspective that what is the scope of business marketing so let us try to explore that what are the kind of salaries during the placements and also just talk about a bit of like how were you able to find this placement as well and secondly also talk about the scope of this course in general really hey okay, so um play, okay i'm going to be brutally honest it is so hard it is very competitive in business marketing field um because that's what i'm studying that's what i know about and a few of my mates um uh, i have I've, i have got a few mates in other universities they're studying the same course kind of similar course as me but it's more like engineering side and it's still a bit hard for them so it's i'm not saying it's going to be easy at all like you have to grind to mm -hmm. get um to you know even get a placement i my mates like almost like half of them are english and they, they can get they can get placements and it is hard, it's so much work. You have to, I started applying for placement like a uh, year before, so at the end of my first year, and I didn't get a reply back for like six months. I applied for like 100 jobs. Um, it's, I'm not saying it's gonna be the same case with you. It's just like, I, I'm, I'm a chill kind of guy, so I'm I'm not like too into studies, um, but I'm, I'm there that I know what's going on and you know, what we're studying and how to actually, you know, present yourself. Um, and when you know they ask to do work, I do it and I finish it. So if if like you you, you know you have a personality where you you kind of alright, but you you know you're working and you want to have fun, and still I'm telling you when it comes to finding a job, you have to grind it, and I think you'll be able to get it. I'm not saying I'm not going to be like you know you hundred percent you'll get it, but you will get it yeah. because I was able to get my placement like a month before September this last year september and i searched for a whole damn year and i still couldn't get it and i and out of nowhere and i just got it there are two very important things first is your patience second is like persistence i would say like even resilience as well like when for example sweden got some failure when he applied initially but 
he was like he was keep on applying for the placement opportunities and for the jobs as well and that's how he ended up getting a placement as well i also just like to uh could you also add on that uh what do you think is a f uh kind of salaries for this particular course basically? Um, it depends uh but it ranges from minimum wage to like um, i'd say the max you can get is probably like 20 um if you do you know doing in the business field or marketing or any of those so that's for placement right yeah, yeah placement yeah but if you're doing something okay. like a um, bit of engineering, bit of like um, the science side, it could get it could go higher because you you going niche into that side. Um, because yeah. also when you think about you know marketing or that perspective is very competitive because it's not just you among other international students, um, but there are also a lot of probably like majority of national students here who are competing for the same job. So if you to look at it mm. that way, it's very competitive, but don't give up, you're going to get it. You have to be resilient. You have to be, as you said, you know, don't, yes. don't, don't lose hope. What, what's the worst that could happen is that you're not going to get it. But if you don't lose hope and keep applying, you're going to get it mostly. Yeah. Yeah. No, really. It's, it's like great for, thank you very much. Like for sharing this experience and my kind of like wind up question is that what are your future plans looking like? Do you think, uh, will you be settling in UK if you've got that plans or how does the future looks like for you? Um, I could actually, so you know what, with the PSW, it has changed a lot of my um, future plans, but not to that, not to that extent, but it has definitely mm. helped me to, you know, achieve what I want later, um, just to get there earlier than I, I would have hoped. So my plan is to actually, you know, graduate then, um, you, if I don't get a sponsorship, then use the PSW, the use, you know, the study visa, just to work for two years, and then I'll apply for. I'll try to get um, um, go for MBA, but who knows if I get a good job okay. or something. But for now, it's just graduating and working afterwards for two years. Yeah, I mean, like it's always kind of bit blur. Like even like um. I'll be going in my final year next year, but I'm like still kind of confused at what's the next step because you know it's like you've done your high school, then it's like you've done your degree, then after that like oh what to do next? You are kind of like having a lot of options open. You know you can do PhD, you've got PSW, and it's a bit kind of flustering as well on the same time. So I completely understand that. So so just like uh, what will be your last piece of advice for the students who are coming over here? just like a general experience or studies, just what will be your advice for the students? Like what should they be keeping in their mind before coming to UK? Okay, um, um, I've got a few things that I want to say to prospective students who are thinking about coming in the UK. Uh, first of all, um, like don't just focus too much on studying, okay? Now, I'm not saying don't study, like you, you have to do both study and mingle with people. You have to diversify yourself. You have to try to you know go out of your comfort zone because you can learn transferable traits because of that, and you can grow as a person. Which, which when you you know you grow through that stage, you're gonna take that later in your life. But with graduation, it's not like you know you're just interacting with your group and you've graduated and then you're looking for a job. You, you, you're in a different country, so I'd say make the most out of it. Try to make as many friends as you can. Try to just go out, try to be as social as possible. And keep it, keep, yeah, again, keep in mind, don't, don't let it affect your studies. Because if, if you have to grind, grind for it, you're not, you're not here for like, you know, as I said before, you've just come here. Other students who not who not going out that much because they've been here for their whole life. So you, you're only here for a limited time, make the most out of it, go out, study hard. So I'd say like, you know, one thing I would say to keep in mind is that every second of your time here, make the most of it, it should be worth it. Because if I, yeah. if I was at my place, not doing anything in a different country, that would just be boring as hell. Like imagine that you're going to, you know, you just accept sleeping, try to go, try to enjoy it. Um, and if, again, if you've got that exchange program at your university, make a, do that. I, I definitely, I hands down say it was the best time of my life and it will be the best time of your life as well. If you try to, if you decide on, you know, going for that route, but, and also 
the ads onto your CV. You're gonna you. I met so many people through that as well. And I've got now I've got mates from you know you know in America now because I'm studying in the UK, so I've got mates in the UK anyway. So it's just like you know late in your life you never know when you might have to contact them for some reason or anything just you know you might for example you're like in the states for some reason and just you know you give them a chat and connection wise when you grow up later you like okay i might um you know i knew someone who was doing digital marketing or something like that back in high school i could just give them a shout you know when you later in your years so that will be very helpful so to try to you know Go out, explore as much as you can. Don't stick to one place. Don't. I'm not saying don't stick to one group. Just try to make as many group friends as possible. I think I think the main point is like basically diversify and on the same time make sure that you balance your social life and the education. That is well. the perfect so way to do your exchange program. In, yeah, not yeah. exchange program, but like your international study abroad. So that is the best yes. way to go for yes. it. And that 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 exactly. that's, that's the best I could give right now <laughs> uh, just my last piece of advice for the audience is that Sridhar himself has got his own youtube channel as he said he makes like content related to exchange program uk international life and his uh, i think he's like very passionate about the photography aspect as well so please make sure to check out his channel and show your support as well so at last i would really like to thank Sridhar for taking your time and thanks for the audience as well for taking your time and watching this video have a nice day everyone cheers bye bye